In this video, I'm going to talk about isotope calculation worksheet 1, which is finding the average atomic mass from percent abundance of isotopes. So in other words, if I give you like 2, 3, 4, 5 isotopes, and each one have different percentage abundance, I'll need you to find the average atomic mass. Now, first of all, the, in your periodic table, all right, in your periodic table, most of the average atomic mass is two decimal places. Okay, so you need to round your answer to be two decimal places. And number two, the definition for percent abundance is the percent of quantities in the total amount. So in other words, uh, how much uh, uh, percentage of the abundance is that how much is totally, uh, how much quantity in the uh, total amount of the percentage okay so if you say 95 percent that means like it's 95 percent of the total and then uh the sum uh the uh, the formula to do is we're gonna take the amu all right we're gonna take the amu which means the atomic mass unit that means that we're gonna take the average atomic mass i mean not average atomic mass but the amu uh multiplied by the percent abundance for each one of the isotopes and then we got to sum them. You got to add them up. Okay. So what does it equal to? I'm going to talk about that in a second. Now the AMU can be given in the question in two different ways. First way will be atomic mass. So I one here is, for example, the question will give you like a whole bunch of the AMU with a lot of decimal point. For example. Uh, 126.95, 12346 AMU. Okay, that's the one case. Another case is the question will not give you like a whole bunch of the decimal places. They will only give you a mass number. Then in this case, for example, the um the 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 number is 127 of the um iodine. Now 126.95 and 127 are really close. Well, how are they related? It's actually the mass number is actually get it by rounding the atomic mass. So you can see that these two numbers are pretty close. So we can use either one of them, depending on how the question give you. If the question give you AMU, you have to use AMU. If the question did not give you AMU, you have to, to use the mass number. Now for the percent abundance, this is going to be between 0 to 100%. But uh, we want to make the calculation easier. We're going to change percentage abundance to relative abundance. So instead of 0 to 100%, we're going to change that to 0 to 1. Now, how are you going to change percentage into relative? You have two ways to do. Either you move the decimal point of the percentage to the left by 2. Okay, either you move the decimal point to the left by 2, or you can actually take the percentage divided by 100 and to see which way you like the best. If you're good at moving the decimal point, you want to do the number one. If you think that, hmm, I'm not sure if I do the uh, moving the decimal point correctly, then take the percentage divided by 100 is the most secure way. Now, even though sometimes a question will give you like really small percentage, 0.00035%, the number is so small, it doesn't mean that you don't have to move to decimal point. You still have to move the decimal point, even though the percentage given is really, really small. You have to move the decimal point for all the percentage, or, or you can divide it by 100. Now, you always need to check three things. So number one is your sum of the relative abundance equal to one. Are you When you change it all from percentage to relative, are they all equal to one? So I'm going to show you in a second how to double check. And number two, do you have number of isotopes correctly? Now, sometimes the question will not tell you, I have two isotopes, I have three isotopes, I have five isotopes. They will not tell you. You have to decide, do you have right number of isotopes? So I'm going to show you in a second how to make sure that. And number three, after you find the um, final average atomic, uh, atomic mass, you want to compare your answer to the periodic table. Now, because we say that we have two different ways, right? the first way we use atomic mass if they give an AMU. So if the question gives you AMU, you use AMU. We want to compare your answer to the periodic table answer and the difference to be less than 0 0.01. Okay, 
Now, if the question did not give you AMU, you had to use mass number, right? Because there's no AMU, you have to use the mass number. The difference between your answer and the periodic table, now actually there's a typo here. The difference is not less than one. The difference should be less than 0 0.1. The difference should be less than 0 0.1. So fix that on your worksheet, okay? Now let's look up the first question. Find the average atomic mass for mg if 78.98% of mg atom are 24 mg with a mass of whatever amu, 10% are 25 mg with a mass of whatever amu, and 11.01% are 26 mg with a mass of amu. So it looks like a lot of information. So the first thing you want to do is circle the isotope. Okay, circle the isotope. We use different color pen. So which one is my first isotope? Is 24 mg. We use red pen to circle the first one. Now always circle the isotope so you know how many and which one isotope you can see. The first one is 24 mg. And the second one we use green pen. The second one is 25 mg. So we circle 25 mg. And the third one is 26 mg. The third one is 26 mg. And the fourth one, we don't have any more fourth one. So even though the question did not tell you how many, using this method, you can tell you have three isotopes. And then next is we want to underline what information belongs to the red, what information belongs to green, and what information belongs to blue. So <clears throat> we look it up. Uh, which information <clears throat> which information belongs to the red? 78.99%. We underline that. Also, 23.980419 AMU. We underline that for red pen. Make sure you underline the percent. Make sure you underline the AMU. Okay? And that's it for red pen. And then green pen, 10% belong to green. We underline that. 24.9 A whatever AMU also belong to green pen. We underline that. And that's it. And then blue pen, 11.01 are blue pen. And then 25 something something AMU belong to blue. And that's it. So that, this is the way that you decide what information goes to what isotope. Now we have three percentage. So one at a time. We first go to the right hand side of the worksheet. We take the first percentage, 78.99%. Now we need to change that from the percentage to relative. So you have two ways. Either you take 78.99 divided by 100. Or if you're good at the moving decimal point, you take the decimal point, move to the left by 2. Okay, either way is fine. Either divide by 100 or move to decimal point to the left by 2. So I go ahead to move it. And my relative is um, 0.7899. Okay. And then the second percentage is 10.00%. And if I move this one point or divide by 100, I will get 0 0.10. So if you move your decimal point carefully, you will get this 0 0.10. If you're careless, you probably get 0 0.01 or 0, you know, whatever. Later, you will find out that it didn't work out. And then the last percentage is 11.01%. We move to two decimal point and we got 0 0.1101. Okay. Now, I want you to add this three up. I, we're going to use black pen. Okay, if you punch in these three number, you add them up in the calculator, you find out you should get one. Now, it's very important, this part, you need to get one. If you don't get one, you should not continue on the left. You should stop. You fix this part first because you get a waste of calculation if these numbers are wrong. They should add up to one because originally they add up to 100%. Okay, now once they're in equal to one, we're sure that these are correct. We can come to the left hand side. Now we first write down my first isotope is 24 mg equals. Now my equation said that I take the AMU times the uh, abundance, but we change the percentage relative, right? So my AMU is from here, all right, is 23.9850419. 28. Point, I'm sorry, 23. 23.9850419. Okay, so it's, this is the 3. Okay, this is the 3. 
0.9850419. And don't forget to write down the unit AMU. We underline that. I see so many people, they forgot to write down AMU. Then what's the consequence? They either take AMU times AMU or relative times relative, which is wrong. So underline AMU. And then we multiply by the abundance. Now, this time we change abundance to be from percentage to relative. So we times 0.7899. Okay, we take this point in the calculator. We will get 18.9457846. That's the first isotope. Now, the second isotope is 25 mg. We do the same thing. We punch in the AMU and then my relative abundance. So 24.9858370 AMU. Again, we underline AMU. And then we multiply 0 0.10. And then my calculator said that is 2.498837. And then my last um, isotope is 26 mg equals to 25.9825930 amu okay because i got it from the this one and then my relative is 0 0.1101 because i got it from here and then i calculate it will be 2.860 Okay, now then we're gonna do. I'm using black pen. I'm gonna add these three up. Okay, I plus. I add them up. Equal to twenty four point three zero five zero five one seven nine. I add this three up, and then the next step is I'm gonna round it to two places because my atomic mass will be two places. Now in this case, I would need to have include three things. Mother, father, and son. It's always three things. My father, my mother is my rounded answer, two places, 24.31. My father is the unit, and my unit should be AMU. The unit never change AMU. And then my son is the element symbol, which is MG. And then this is my answer. We box that. 24.31 AMU, MG. But I'm not finished yet. I want you to find out periodic table. What is the MG atomic mass on periodic table? So if you find MG, you will find that it's 24.31. So from the periodic table, it's also the same number. Right? You write this down. Okay, you compare. This is my calculation. This is my periodic table number. Because I'm using AMU from the question, so the checking say, okay, if I'm using AMU, the two difference between my calculator and the periodic table, the difference should be less than 0 0.01. So let's show math, okay? So the difference between this 24.31 and this 24.31, if I find a difference is zero, and this is less than 0 0.01. Okay, this is less than 0 0.01. That means it's correct. Give a check mark on it. That would be the whole question. Okay, now let's jump to number two. Now my number two, let's read what is my first isotope. My first isotope is 151EU. We circle that. And the red information is 48.03%. And that's it. No more. And my second isotope is 153EU. And my second information is 51.97%. And that's it, no more. Isotope 3, I don't have any. That means I only have two isotopes. We do the same thing for percentage. We take 48.03%. Okay, we move two decimal places, or you take divided by 100. I got 0 0.4803. And and then my second percentage, the green one, is 51.97%. And I move to decimal places, or I divide it by 100. I get 0.5197. And then I add them up. Add this two up. Make sure I must get one. If you don't get one, you should stop. You go back to fix this first. Now we jump to the left-hand side now. 
My first isotope is 151EU. Now, I suppose to take the AMU, but in this question, I don't have AMU. Now, we go back to the top. If we don't have AMU, that means we can use the mass number because the mass number is originally come from a, um, the atomic mass. We just round it. So, we can use the mass number. Now, what is my mass number? My mass number is 151. Okay? My mass number is 151. And what's the unit? Also AMU. Because just like they are both AMU, just one is like rounded mass, one is non-rounded mass. They're both AMU. And then my relative is 0.4803. And I should get 72.5253. Okay? And my second isotope is 153EU. Again, I don't have um, AMU, but then I can use mass number. So my mass number is this one, 153 AMU. Don't forget AMU. Give them the AMU. I'm going to underline that. Don't forget AMU. They're still AMU. It's just like this one is rounded. Okay? And then I multiply by the relative is 0 0.5197. And then if I multiply, I get 79.5141. And then I add this two using black pen. I got equal to 152.0394. And then if I run it to two places, remember mother, father, and son, three things together. 152.04 is my number. My unit is AMU. And my element is EU. That's your answer. But I'm not done yet because we need to check with periodic table. Now, my EU, my periodic table, the AMU is 151.96. Okay, so my periodic table is 151.96 AMU EU. Okay, now because I'm using not AMU, right? Originally, I'm using mass number. So I need to compare the difference. The difference should be less than 0.1. So we uh, find the difference. So how do I find the difference? You subtract this from that or subtract this from that. I just want to find the difference. So it would be absolute value. You take the bigger one minus the smaller one. It doesn't matter which one I miss which one, as long as the big minus the small one. The difference between them is 0 0.08. And 0 0.08 is less than 0 0.1. Again, we're using this, not the top one, because we're using mass number. The difference 0 0.08 is less than 0 0.1. So then give a check mark. That means this is correct. Okay. Now, if you go back up to the top, the conclusion is if I multiply the AMU and the mul uh, I take the AMU, multiply with the abundance, and then I add them all up, they should equal to if your map is correct, they should equal to the atomic mass on the periodic table. Okay, if you're correct, they should equal to the atomic mass on the periodic table.